Well, hello everyone, I'm here with another Throwback Thursday review, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and today we are reviewing the TIE Fighter and Battle Droid Carrier from 2001. So, let's start off with the box of it, since it, of course, is the only box entry I have for this one. So, on the front of it, you see the big large Lego logo, and that old border that went on until 2001. And then, picture, and then the two minifigs and the stand of it and picture of it above the Death Star and has 169 pieces meant for ages 7 to 12 and then check it out. A lot of interesting graphics that they don't seem to do anymore. And then be part of the community which of course is a true thing. And on the back of which there's just Imagine which they of course had a lot at the time and then it broke it apart and put it on the stand and a couple of crazy alternate builds of course and on to the booklet which is kind of large for the set but whatever same pictures on the front but then all and on the back see droid power and the technic sets from that time that had for a lot of the sets, which I have pretty much reviewed all of, well, minus the Millennium Falcon, of course, and also the uh, Imperial Shuttle, well, neither one of those two. And then just the last steps, and a few movie screen caps at the top, of course. Oh, whoops. And Baldroy Carrier, which is sort of the same. We also same advertisement, similar ad, and again, and the last steps, and again the same thing, but for episode one, of course. So now on to the mini fix of it. For the Tie Fighter one, have. A TIE Fighter pilot, of course. Which just about the same as seen in some of the other TIE Fighter sets over the years. Like a kind of odd helmet piece, Imperial symbols to the sides and all. And then no back torso prints since it's an older figure. And underneath is the dark brown head piece, but with no face print on it, which is a common trend with these earlier ones. Which I think all the stormtroopers and clone troopers should have. Next up is original trilogy stormtrooper. And not sure if it's on just mine that I have here, but the lines are kind of crooked in words. But comment below, did you have earlier Stormtroopers that also had this kind of mistake, or was it just mine or whatever? It does have some back torso print, which wasn't very common at the time, but uh, whatever. But also do have that old style blaster, which you know is just a megaphone with a stud on it. And then underneath it, just a plain yellow head, which I wish they should should use on stormtroopers nowadays. Is the we have this. Then for the battle droid carrier, is just another battle droid, but the same as it's been since as they've been since 1999. Same pieces, same everything, but can't complain about getting multiples for army building. But also. Do you get a Baldroid pilot or whatever? Probably one of the first times I've had that, but with uh, like blue printed on the torso. At least until they did all blue torsos. And, yeah. So, first of all, for, 
course for the bill. So, hang on. First, let's just get this little stand that is for the TIE Fire. Just like we got with the Sith TIE Fire from earlier this year. But except it was that was a lot larger and more complex. And had two uh, stands rather than just this one. But as for as he had the same tower piece, but also one of the two piece for whatever reason. Well, old time two piece on a cylinder and whatnot, and as and has a round plate on or tile on top to fit inside of it, which I'll show in a, in a bit. And now onto the or first Tie Fighter itself. See, uh, done quite good. Does well represent and as see for the wings of which on both sides have these have a lot of blue lines of which which was a common trend with earlier TIE fighters where they had accents of blue at least until they chose gray at later times and as he, and also of course the empire symbol on a printed tile and also to note with this one is it kind of wiggles quite loosely, they kind of like the recent 4 plus one, and also like the most early TIE fighters have the castle pieces to there, and also of course both connected by those like uh, pin piece bricks of course, and also good use of the like um, by two jagged slopes to make it more rigid and everything but yeah and also do have that same exact cockpit piece that a lot of early tie fires oftentimes had and also on the top is another one of it that a lot also had we can flip it open and also pull that right in and enough space to fit your TIE Fighter pilot into a course, which is kind of hard. Maybe it's because it's just me. You can fold right up, of course, and then close right over. But if you look from the back, you see, I have some random tan pieces that I think should be black suiting to it. Or me. And also do have the like little dish piece and with a smaller blue dish piece. I was not sure why that is, but whatever. And also do have a couple of red studs to there, probably representing uh, blasts or whatever. But if compared to like the most recent tie fire from 2018, like as you can see. This was probably like $20 back at the day. And of course, this was about 60 to 70 then. So I see this, which is quite mistake, quite loose and all. But this one, a little more sturdy. Since, of course, it has better, more attachments to it. And has so a lot of dark gray. And has some blue. And compared to blue. But of course, they used uh, sand blue on the 2016 uh, TIE Striker. Or sand. But not sure why that is, but whatever. And of course, it does have actual firing feature. And also, uh, similar features. And same thing from the back, of course. And then. How it fits onto this podium stand is for that open area down there, and just sit it on like so. so it's kind of like the tie dagger or Sith tie fire from this year, and it does sit quite loosely. And yeah, but at least makes a good display if you're making a large mock of some kind, or a large hangar or mock or whatever. And on to the Baldroid Carrier, of which some interesting designs is now first, of which does have plenty of dark brown slopes, and also this 
front piece, which was probably from the 2000 uh, Desert Skiff, but now with some prints to it. Kind of interesting. And see, it's perfectly symmetrical, minus this uh, dish piece with the old droid arm. And interesting use of these pieces, and also those like floater pieces. And it does move around quite nicely. And then it, now the main feature is can slide this off. And why those are green, I'm uh, not sure. So it's probably to make it stick out and make you see it well. And how you get battle droids onto it is where you can like put it on like this kind of awkwardly and then attach them onto these old time lances. Just like that. Kind of, although it does look a little awkward, but at least they may dig justice with what they had. Then get a ton of these like old uh, hinge bars or hinge rod bars, whatever, and probably representing antennas. And also, you got about six of the old style blasters. And just slide it on to it like so and the front area of which has enough space to fit your battle droid pilot onto it and the, what those other slopes are for i'm not sure probably as like little extra wings to make it fly good and not sure what the other megaphone pieces are for And, well, yeah. And so now, on to with the final verdict. So, overall, I think these are which a couple of pretty cool sets for the time, or for the time of 2001. Like, first time I've ever gotten a TIE Fighter set and adding to the collection, of course. And also, the Baldroid Carrier, which, good way to get point of Billy's good army building. Well, probably got the idea of battle packs and things, but at least it was kind of a battle pack at the time. But also, as first time I've had a TIE Fighter set, at least until they improved it well over time. And also, Interesting having the like tower thing to it. But it's kind of interesting. And if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And if you, for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, then I'd say go ahead and get them. Like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.